with every quarter of the year coming up you are thinking okay i want to plan this out but what do i even focus on what do i what needs the most attention in my life right now and how do i figure that out i actually came across a method called the push goal planning method by shailene johnson she's a celebrity fitness coach she's most known for like her workouts with beach body her method is also coined with an adhd mind i really resonate with it i've never been diagnosed adhd but i just really resonate with it like she has notebooks and workbooks for this but like there was nothing in a digital planning platform for that and so i took it upon myself to make a notion worksheet i will have it in my description below that you can reference and duplicate a copy for yourself and be able to follow along with this because i have found it really powerful in being able to just figure out what i need to focus on honestly and this is big picture it's not just business it's my life and sure my business is a big part of that but it's not just that one thing in my life she was like, you know, you look at these people and you're just like, wow, how do they get so much done? She really was like, how do I do that? And what she came to find out was that when you really just like hone in on that on one goal, it somehow just snowballs and that is how people get more done. This system is a way that you can identify what that goal is, what your push goal is to be able to catapult you into achieving all your other ones a lot easier. Without further ado, let's go ahead and pop over to my computer and I'll go ahead and show you the template walkthrough. I'll describe like each step. Okay, so we're over here on my Notion template. This is for quarter one of next year that I'm looking at. There are some of mine still in here from this year. <laughs> Like I said here before, this system is inspired by my favorite podcaster and personal development coach, Shailene Johnson, rating 10 areas of life from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, and sorting so that the area of life that needs your attention immediately is at the top, usually level 1 or 2 score. So um, when those are scored lower, those are the ones that need your attention the most. Okay, so first I started off here with an end of previous quarter review. It's what did you like about last quarter? What did you learn? What did you feel like you were lacking and what did you long for? Um, moving on. So step one is where is your life now? These were some things that I had put in, but family and friends uh, and relationships in your life, that is one. And with each one, you'll see you can give it a rating. <laughs> 10, you are on fire. You, This is like the happiest you've ever been in this area of your life. One is like, you're dead. <laughs> you're just you're just so stuck and like not sure exactly how to get out of that even. Then you'll brainstorm anything you can think of that would improve whatever area or areas you scored the lowest in. So that is step one. Step two, we're gonna make 10 focused and measurable goals for the next 90 days. Three of these goals are going to be for the area of life that you scored the lowest in with the previous exercise. And then you'll have seven more goals that will complement the other areas of, the, of your life that you don't want those to fall stagnant and fall short, but like you still want to achieve some goals in that space too. I still have a couple here from last year. Again, I just copied this template over. So I still have my worksheets from last year. I'm starting a diary for Lana for her toddler diary so it's like the calendar where you write one sentence a day for them begin affiliate marketing i've been learning a lot more about that a fully funded emergency fund i'm so close setting a budget that's kind of always one of my goals <laughs> so yeah you want to set 10 goals now three of these are going to complement your lowest scored areas from the previous exercise which is where you can refer back to here step three we're going to categorize by the resources you have so this is the same database um, what resources would each goal require to fulfill select that category in will take more and then see which one you have the most of so previously this is what i had i wanted to focus on long-form content more youtube stuff each goal takes one to two of the four um, resources that everyone has which is more discipline skills and talent do you need to learn more skills do you need more education in a particular thing it's going to take more time 
or it's going to take more money. This is what I had. The most common research that I need more of is time and discipline are both tied. <laughs> so find out for yourself what you need more of as well. And this is what I had wrote down. These are some ways I can get more time. So step four is the final step, which is defining your push goal for this quarter. Um, now identifying whether you need more time, better discipline, new skills or talents, or more money, we can create a push goal. Bonus, if your push goal gives you gives you the top thing you need plus your second top thing um it would be great so like for me it was time has four while discipline has three and it was like i needed um i needed both more time and discipline so i have found over time <laughs> um that i have benefited really well from like time blocking which is the discipline factor now you define your push goal um, if I remember correctly, when I first created this and it was the time and discipline, honestly, like most of every quarter, it's usually some like mixture of time and something else or discipline and something else. And um, in this season of life, I think that um, I think that it, this this still resonates with me, time and discipline. <laughs> So I put, I'm, I want to solidify my evening routines for the next day. As a mom and business owner, most of the time I don't have the steam or the energy to really like do deep work tasks or like edit or do anything like that after I have put Lana to bed and we've done like our bedtime routine and everything. So I honestly get into a more reflective mindset anyway in the evenings that allows me to be able to just like journal and set my intentions for the next day so it's my push goal for this quarter is just going to be um setting better intentions for the following day in my notebook right here so i made another video about this on like how i'm just using a plain notebook for um like see there's nothing no structure to it it's literally just using a plain notebook. It functions as like a quick journal. I take this with me in the car to write down some notes um, and I'm listening to a podcast and I wanna refer back to it. So it's really just like a workbook. I can avoid going in my phone and getting distracted and I can keep that on like work mode and just like be more analog with my daily stuff. So if I can do that the day before my day starts, then I think I will have more success Definitely check out the description below if you want to download this template on in your Notion. Notion is free, by the way, if you don't um, already have an account. I hope that uh, you found this well and yeah, wishing you a great quarter of the year ahead. You've got this and yeah, enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.